St. Albans is a very quirky church. We have all kinds of people here. We're not a rich church. We are not a powerful church. We just worship together and work hard together and make a difference in the world. That's what's really important to us. Several of us went to a diocesan meeting and a speaker stood up and said, if your church closed its doors tomorrow, would the community notice? And the three of us who were there all said, ouch. And so we came home and we formed our outreach commission. We choose our projects carefully and then commit ourselves very deeply. And we have really enjoyed our working with refugees. Refugees are incredibly diverse people. They're coming from places where community is basically how you identify yourself. And they're coming into a new community where they don't have that. And St. Albans has really been able to offer that social context that many refugees are seeking out. Because sponsorship is assisting the families with donations, but then also getting directly involved and walking alongside individuals as they are adjusting to their new life in the community. Our first family, we didn't know who they were going to be, but we started collecting things for their apartment. Susan, my wife, and I uh, jumped on board to help move the stuff into the apartments, get it set up. We went to the airport to meet the family, and it was a good feeling to know that these people had been traveling for two days, and that we were handing them a key to this apartment. And when they got there, it would be well furnished, they'd have food in the refrigerator, and they would know that someone here really cared. Refugee resettlement agencies rely on co-sponsorship relationships. By myself, the job will not get done because I'm not Superman. St. Albans, they always amaze me. They have so much to give for refugees. First and foremost, it's very satisfying and it's a very tangible way to help in the community. The preparation for it, and what is required to make it happen, is underwhelming. Uh, the benefit and enjoyment from it is overly rewarding. But the thing that it's taught me, I think, is even though you may not speak the language, there's still that smile, that warmth, that sort of transcends all the language thing. It's not just the refugee family, it's not just the local affiliate. Um, but the church themselves are going to come out enriched from, from the co-sponsorship experience. I think one of the reasons that people go to church is to find meaning in their lives and when they're really giving deserving people an opportunity to have a better life, I think that's what makes their lives meaningful. I was always raised that nobody is born knowing how to work or how to give. One of our responsibilities as parents and adults in the church is to be able to be an example and to show our youth about giving. It helps us to understand how our world can walk together and honor one another. And for us to get to know the people as a family and as individuals, it's just uh, tremendously rewarding. I get to the airport and I see these people coming down the escalator. I have no idea what they're walking into, but to me, I think that's one of the times that I feel closest to God and that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Thank you.